What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon news update video today recording this intro on April 19th 2018 and I say that because the intro of this video and the first news story is actually stuff that came out today. Everything else is a couple of days old and that is because I recorded the video, I went to edit it and I didn't finish it and I kept on pushing it off until basically right now. And I'm sorry for that, but here is everything that's kind of happening with Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games. Now, the first bit of news that we need to go over is from Cerebi.net. Currently, as of recording, this news is not up on the Pokemon official website. And of course, that is to register for the next online battle competition. Now, Cerebi reads, registration for the next battle competition has begun. This is the Ultra Chaos classic competition this is a single battle competition where players can use Pokemon from the chaos pokedex and prohibits the use of obviously you know legendaries mythical Pokemon that are not found in that pokedex a low in forms and ash Greninja are not allowed no Z crystals can be used and all Pokemon will be raised to level 50 for the duration of the competition registration runs from April 19th 2018 which is today you have to sign up before the registration ends to enter in the competition when the competition happens so the registration again opens today april 19th all the way to april 26 2018 so you got about a week to register your game and it says battles will run from april 27th your it says battles will run it says battles will run from april 27th through April 29th, all entries will get anyone who participates in any one, anyone who participates will get 50 battle points, which again, it's cool. I love getting tons of battle points so I can use it to get special items and whatnot for special Pokemon that I'm, you know, trying to create a quote unquote competitive version of. And it's a great way to do that, to get battle points at the same time. Take those competitive Pokemon for a spin and jump online and see how well or bad, in my case, you can do in these online competitions. Now, like always, guys, I will be streaming this on my Instagram live. So if you do want to jump on, links in the description to my Instagram so you can check me out there. Also, in the comments, feel free to let me know who you guys are going to be taking into this online battle competition if you are jumping in. And who do you think I should pull in? Because I'm a rookie when it comes to these online competitions and battling Pokemon whatsoever. I'm more of a collector when it comes to Pokemon and I I love collecting the mons. I love I love making them battle ready. Hell yeah, that's cool. But as far as like making those decisions out there in the world where every decision counts in the strategic of the battle, I'm not the best player and I don't praise myself to be. So if you think that you have what it takes to give me a great team, let me know in the comment section below. I'm willing to hear any team setup that you think will be cool. Remember, it's a single battle competition. It's not doubles, not teams, which I'm terrible at. I think I do better in singles battles, but that's just coming from a player who literally plays the campaign and thinks they're badass because they beat through the campaign. Now, the first thing I want to go over is the 2018 International Challenge of March Participation Prize is available for anyone who participated in the 2018 International Challenge of March. Now, I'm going to have a link in the description to this Pokemon Global Link blog post so you can check it out for yourselves and you can claim your prize. I'm also going to have the link to redeem the code for your prize in the description below so you can check it out. It says, if you made the rankings in 2018 International Challenge of March online competition, you can claim your prize of 50 battle points now. Now, technically, to make a ranking, you just needed to participate in one battle within the three days of the online international competition of March and you needed to have to sign up and have a battle team that was eligible for this online competition. So I did it. I signed up and I also jumped online and got demolished all three days. I had a team that I kind of just whipped up and I didn't even add my, I didn't have items to them because I took them out of the 
Pokemon Bank, which kind of sucked. But at the same token, it was kind of a learning lesson to the day before set a time that I'm gonna go and prepare and set up my team. Now moving on to another Pokemon Global Link blog post news update is that the Hatch A Lot of Eggs global mission was a success. Who didn't see that coming? It says the Hatch A Lot of Eggs global mission has concluded and the goal was to reach you and Pokemon fans around the world joined together collectively to hatch over 3 million Pokemon eggs eggs in the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon games. Anyone who contribute will receive a reward of 2,000 Festival Plaza coins. Trainers who have registered the game at the Pokemon Global Link will earn 4,000 Festival coins. Check the Global Missions Receptionist and the Festival Plaza to receive a participation prize. Congratulations again to everyone who participated in the latest Global Mission. Now, this one was pretty easy, again, with tons of people who use the method of hatching eggs to find shinies and pretty much that's all there's kind of left as far as content is concerned inside the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games. People want to fill out that shiny dex as much as possible. They're using that method. That was a no brainer that this one was going to be a success. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you participate in the Pokemon Global Missions? And if you don't, let me know why not. And also let me know what you would make you contribute. I always say that we need better rewards besides the fucking festival plaza coins i would love that they gave you know rewards like a special pokemon or something or a special item like give us something that would make us want to do these global missions i just want a reward for doing something that is meaningful and that i feel like getting the festival plaza coins is a bad idea for giving out rewards now lastly this last bit of news is coming from cerebeat.net i'm gonna have a link in the description to their web page follow them on twitter i'm gonna have a link in the description as well and this has to do with the Ryko and entei event that's going on that's going to be distributed through many ways one of those ways as you guys know from my video before is through that terrible newsletter idea that they're gonna still do for the people out there in Canada. So it says, for those of you in Canada, the newsletter that contains the serial codes for, for Entei in Sun and Ultra Sun and Raikou for players with Ultra Moon and Moon are now being sent out and received. Like other distributions, they differ between the games like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon being level 100 with a golden bottle cap and Sun and Moon being level 60 with no item. Sun and Ultra Sun get Entei while Moon and Ultra Moon get Raikou. And to me, I'm like, oh. If you live in Canada and you sign up for the newsletter and you got the newsletters before for Heatran and Rega Gigas, then you probably would be fine because that would mean that they have you registered and you're gonna probably get these codes to unlock Entei and Raikou, no problem. But for the people who have it, let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> Are you, are you receiving the newsletter for this month? Because again, if it if you don't, then that kind of sucks because that would be two in a row. Now, what I do want to know is that the United States receives their event through serial code attained at Target stores from April 22nd until I believe is the end of April that we have to go to Target and pick these up. Now, I am going to be in New York. There's a few Targets that in that general area in the New York New Jersey area that I'm gonna be in hopefully I'm able to snag multiple I'm I, 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 I'm not playing if I see a stack I'm going to take a stack because I, I want to be able to help anyone that is in the for for example in the Canada region and can't get it because of this whack-ass newsletter I think it's unfortunate I think it sucks and I, I'm hoping that these US codes will work out for the people out there and also for the people who are in the United States for whatever reason can't make it to a Target store, you don't have one in your, your city, your area, your mom can't drive you, whatever the case may be. I kind of wish the Pokemon company would just give these out over Wi-Fi for whatever reason they don't. So this is what we have. Hopefully I am able to snag a couple 
for you guys and I will be doing a video once I'm out there in New York and if I do happen to come across them. So I'll, let, I'll keep you guys updated if I do get codes. Also, if you do manage to scoop up a bunch of codes, drop them in the description of this video. Why not share the love to anyone who may need them? You might be helping a Pokemon trainer in need. Now that's going to do it for all the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon news as of right now. And I know, I know, I know, kind of slow news. I mean, we did get some news, but it, it was mostly stuff from Pokemon Global Link side and, you know, these distribute Pokemon. So let me know in the comment section below as these games are kind of wrapping up and we're getting zero aura on stuff like that. Let me know what still keeping you tied to your Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games. Are you shiny hunting? Are you online battling? Are you participating in these online competitions? What are you doing in your Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games? Let us know. Let's have that convo in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of these Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon news update videos. The best way to catch them all is with a subscription, so please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button because it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next pokemon ultra sun and pokemon ultra moon news update video